What's up guys, TV Pros here, and bring you some Daisy. It's the mod for Amber 2 that I said I was going to do. So here it is. Um, I have been playing this for a little bit. Hold on, let me get out of this stupid menu thing. I don't know how to... There we go. So I've been playing this for a while now. Um, I know fairly enough about this game to survive for a long time. I've been to the north. Uh, if none of you know what the north is. I'll show you a map uh, of what this whole place looks like and how big it is. And yeah, so in this video, I plan on just showing you guys some, uh, just some basic stuff so you guys have at least some kind of knowledge of what this game is about if you don't already. Um, so yeah, this is going to be like a little basic tutorial kind of thing just to, uh, you know, show you guys. So what you got here it, you'll spawn with yeah, I'll go in my inventory you'll spawn with just a bandage I believe a painkiller um I think a flashlight and there's something else I think you spawn with okay oh yeah and then you get a backpack uh you won't get the backpack I have on now the backpack I have on now is the biggest backpack it holds up to see if I can open it and show you oh it's glitching out right now but it'll show like three inventory slots like this big but three of them up here and the one what you spawn with will just show one so um, yeah it's a pretty good deal now um, down the bottom right is all the gauges you want to look at um, so the top one is the temperature gauge so in some servers you go in uh, if you go up north, it gets kind of cold, so you need to find heat packs to keep yourself warm. Um, I don't know if that it does it in the server that I'm in right now, but um, yeah. So then the bottom one below that is obviously your water. It looks like a little canteen thing. So to get that up, it'll turn. All these will turn red when it's like really bad and you need to do it. So what you need to do is you need to find some water or some soda. So there's. There's three kinds of soda in this game. There's Coke, Pepsi, and Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew is really rare. Don't really see that often. But then that one below that is your blood. And um, you don't want that one to get red because you will probably die. And when a zombie hits you or anybody shoots you, you start. Sometimes you start bleeding. So you need to bandage yourself. So that little droplet on there will have a like a plus sign on it, meaning to bandage. And then one end of that is food, obviously, the fork and knife. So right now it's telling me I need to eat, but I don't have anything to eat. So, yeah, um, that's kind of bad. Now this guy is dead. Um, you'll know there's uh, dead guys around when you hear flies. So I already checked him. He had some good stuff, but they're not really that good. But Yeah, so, and in the debug monitor up there. That just shows you how many zombies you killed, you know, how many headshots you've gotten, and murders are, oh god, I almost freaking fell. Murders means that, you know, people that you've shot that, um, that, I don't know how to explain this. It's just people you shot. Um, the bandits killed is like, if someone is out just shooting people and killing them, and then you kill them, that counts as a bandit kill. So it'll make you look like, you know, you're not like the bad person. So then there, there's your blood underneath it, and that goes up to 12,000. Mine's a little low. You want to keep it above 7,000. And um, the zombies just shows what zombies are um, around you at the moment. So now, yeah, there's a zombie right there. Um, what's that up there? Oh, do I have a hunting knife? Maybe I can show you guys how to see if I have a hunting knife. I do. So there's ran. Oh wait, I was gonna tell you about the little ear and the eye up there is what the zombies can see. So like right now a zombie can see me, um, which is a bad thing. But and then the hearing is what the zombies can hear you at. So that's for all the gauges that you see. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit. I'm trying to make my way to the bigger city. That's where all the loot's gonna be. Sheep. I would kill them, but I don't have anything to cook them up with, so it's pretty much pointless. 
And if you want to cook something up, you need to. Okay. Oh, God, you see it's been good. You need to get some matches. Them are pretty hard to find too. But if you have matches and you find a pile of wood, you can make a fire. And yeah, he's still chasing me. So another good tip to know about is when you're going through town, you want to crouch because then it's harder for zombies to see you. You're a little bit more quieter. Um, I think I'm just gonna shoot this guy. I don't see anybody else around me. Now zombies will have stuff on them. Oh, he has baked beans. Thank God I freaking killed him. So now I got some baked beans. I just you know can right right click it and then eat it. And usually I wait till my stuff is like all the way to red and start blinking, but um, I didn't really want to. So so yeah, we're on our way to the city. Um, yeah, so far this game is pretty good. It's it's in beta, so there's gonna be kind of some glitches and stuff, but overall it's a really good game. Uh, this is pretty much all I play now, so I'll be posting a lot of this. Uh, I play a lot with my friend Stevie. I don't know if you've seen him or heard of him, but uh, check him out. Uh, I have him in my sub box. Uh, he, he does some pretty good content, so check him out. I'll be playing with him, and we'll be just uh, messing around, going up north and stuff, getting some snipers and whatnot. Uh, our main mission right now is just trying to find a helicopter, but, um, so yeah. If you have any questions about the game, just, uh, let me know. I'm glad to help you. I'm fairly knowledgeable on this game. Uh, there's some stuff that I still don't know, but, I'm getting there. So now, uh, it's kind of hard to go around without a map. I know this way is... Electro, I'm guessing. This way is a, uh, you'll spawn on the beach or on the shore. That's where you always spawn, and that's the bottom of the map. It's the south of the map. So you, you know you'll know where to go if you don't have a map. You can just Google the map, and then I'll, you can find a way to go. But you always you always spawn on there. So this is probably a really bad spot for me to be because people will spawn, but they'll have nothing on them anyway. So I can just shoot them. So. Yeah. 